तो वेलकम बैक एवरीवन सो नाउ दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ऑल आवर प्रोडक्ट्स हियर एस यू कैन सी हियर देयर आर करेंटली फाइव प्रोडक्ट्स हैज बीन लिस्टेड दिस इज बेसिकली सम सैंपल डेटा व्हिच आई जस्ट डिड जस्ट बाय क्रिएटिंग ऑन द क्लिकिंग ऑन द सैंपल प्रोडक्ट बटन सो वंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन विद ऑल ऑफ दिस इंक्लूडिंग द प्राइस एज़ वेल what we can do is we can actually just create a product page for this particular for every single uh, product page and which which has to be dynamic so that it can support more and more products that are going to be added in the future so that's the whole idea of this particular part of the course is going to be so let's go to this particular click or just click on uh, this uh, e-commerce uh, icon again so now that we have already like uh, we have nine steps left so i mean that's what we're going to we're going to solve one by one so as you can see we have already added product which we have just did the next is we would like to have design the product page so this is the one that you should be clicking on go to product page okay there you go this is the product page like this basically like this is the landing page for every single page every single product that you have in your store so as you can currently currently you can see currently we are in the product of the first list the first list the product the list As you can see here, it's called small metal plants. So that's the first one. So as you can see, here, this is basically the the landing page, the pl platform where we can actually create the landing page, the design landing page as well. So first of all, in a website, we should be having the headers. So let's start with headers first. So just simply, we can just gonna use some random uh, layouts, which is a template like this. Just click, just have it anything like this. So I'm just gonna take the second one. Just gonna place it in the top here. So you can see here you can actually just this is the first on the list of the page so as you can see you can just check this particular layer the called navigator so as you can see in our body we have nav bar at most top here okay now next thing is where we're going to add the section so the next thing we would like to add is called the section here for example this section is we're going to put right below this header so in this particular section is where we're going to place the the products and as well as its content so i'm just going to name the section let's going to name it here for example or or product section okay so just 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 some simple naming here so next thing i would like to add is the uh grids yeah that's the one i would like to add so basically grid is where we're going to uh, segregate on on our left and left hand side and right hand side on where we're going to place the content and the image of the product so let's going to just going to attack click on this grid icon just going to place it inside the section so as you can see here there are two uh yeah it's two uh, rows here which we won't be needing is the second one so we're just going to remove the second row here just going to go here and then just click on delete for the second row here so as you can see we have one row with two columns that exactly what we wanted to have in the first place so for example uh, this is the one that we're going to place the image here and this is going to be the the place where we're going to uh, display the content the name of the the name of the product the price and the call to action buttons like like buy now so now that we have already have this two particular column in a single row now we can actually add a div block here for example div block can be found in here just under this basics uh, section just drag it and we can actually drop it uh, here and what we can do we can actually increase the height of the grid for example let's click on a grid here make sure you have clicked on grid and we can actually go to this particular minimum height yeah let's make it uh let's make it 80 vh so in that way we can actually have huge view of the screen and it's able to view the, almost every single part of this uh section so next thing is that let's once we have already had this particular uh uh div block which we have just added here for example let's give it a check so we have added this div block here so what we can do here is that we can actually add image here so in order, in order to add image here, let's go to uh, we can just click on this make sure you have div block selected go to this uh, how do you say element settings and click on element settings and you can see some dynamic style settings here So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have get background image from products. This so this is basically the dynamic content is coming directly from from the yeah from this e-commerce products that we have just created. So click on get background image from products, and we need to select the field. Which field is it that that the product is listening to? 
to get the image for example here it says main image so click on that okay there you go this is the basically the first part of the first products image uh, so you can just go to uh, e-commerce here and click on products as you can see the first one is metal small metal uh, yeah yeah this is actually the the same image that we are just uh, that we have just created so just close it okay now we can understand that this image is actually dynamic so also the same format will be applicable to the rest of the products as well so if you go to if you go to uh, this is small metal pants let's go to sleek concrete ball and as you can see here we have also have another uh, image of the product and next let's go to incredible granite hat and there you go so this is how you are going to check through each and every single products how will they look like in this particular uh, manner so that you, you will find all the products are being uh, created dynamically so that you don't have to manually go and go for each and every single products one by one so that will be able to save your time and energy so next let's we have done with the right hand side image now let's go to the left hand sorry the right hand side here so yeah i got confused a bit so in this part in this right hand side uh column this right column here what we're going to do we're going to add all the content of a product like let's say the title of the product the price of the product description and and there are call to action buttons where we can actually add so that uh, customers can actually choose the number of products that they would like to buy the number of products they want to buy so in order to do that let's go and yeah do the same thing like we first we add div block here for example right here okay and as you can see here we can just check this uh, navigator as you can see in this particular grid we have created on the second uh, column div block here and the first is this one the second one is this one so let's go in, in this particular uh, div block that we have just created we're going to add some text which is the heading so we're just going to take this heading okay there you go now you are able to add this particular heading inside this div block let's give it a check to navigator so as you can see in the second div block which we have just added on the right hand side here we have added the heading uh, text so next thing is that we're gonna make make this content of this heading to be dynamic according kind of dynamically like we should reflect what particular product is this so that's what dynamic all is, is all about so go and you need to success, uh, click on the setting button of the of this particular header and we can actually get the text from product so click on this and we need to select field what field are we exactly listening to so this is should be name yeah name is the one okay so as you can see here this is the the name that is given to this product let's go go and give it a check here go to products and as you can see the first product's name is small metal pants and the, this is the image of this and so on we're gonna just transfer all this particular uh, details into the landing page one by one so we have done with the title of the uh, title of the product so next let's add a uh, next thing that we should be adding is let's give it a check ah yeah it's the price yep the price should be yeah let's gonna just i just gonna take heading as well just gonna place it right below here and i'm gonna make the size to be smaller than than the title so h4 is just enough click on the settings here and you can see here once you have to click on settings we should be able to click on this get text from products as well and next we have just chosen uh the name of i mean the, once we have already chosen this one now we should choose price yeah okay there you go now this as I, this is basically it's coming directly from the products itself let's give it a check so it's 49.83 so as you can see here the first products price is 49.83 as it is okay now let's give it a check with other products that we have just created so as you can see here this is the first part second one is sleek concrete ball and and as you can see everything is uh, dynamically uh, reflecting the second product's name image and price so that's basically how it's all going to work about it's going to be very easy to set up webflow for your product for your store basically it's an e-commerce uh, friendly way to develop your store okay now that's that's the first two things that we just needed those are the most basic uh, two uh, detail of a product next thing is that you would like to have your or uh, your customers to click on this on your I mean to buy to actually purchase the number of products that you that I mean from your store. So in order to do that, let's add. There is a that is a designated uh, uh yeah element that you can find in 
uh, in webflow it's called add to cart here so add to cart is basically it's already been pre-built you don't have to do anything it's all uh, like already been made really really, really uh, friendly I mean they have already done this basically so it's just gonna take this add to cart and it's gonna drag it just gonna drop it just gonna place it right below uh, let me just Oh, just okay just, I mean just need to place it right below here okay so as you can see here this is a bit uh gone haywire so just in a minute you just need to make sure you are, you are placing it correctly so as you can see we, can, we can't actually change the details I mean change the items aligned properly so what you can do here you can actually just take manually just place it right below here and there you go and there you go guys you are able to fill all this tree stuff within the uh, yeah div block that we have just created since this div block is uh, I would like to make all this content to be centered so what I can do here is let to click on the div block here go to this settings here and I'm going to make it all of this to be centered just like this and as you can see here this is the at most the three most important uh, part of, of your landing page that you would like to have for each and every single uh, product so that's the whole idea of this particular course I mean this particular part of this video is all about which is just to explain to you guys what are the basic steps to actually get started with to actually start your uh, your landing page for your each and every single product that you have in your store and that's the end of this particular uh, course here so i will be explaining more about other uh, e-commerce uh, uh, plugins and other e-commerce uh, core functionalities that yeah, I, can, I can actually share with you guys in the next episodes of this particular course so thank you for watching let's meet up in the next video